so it is July 30th, okay. 2016. We are on our way to Walker Stalker, Boston. I haven't put on the blood yet. Um, I got my little guts cloak back here. And yeah, let the vlogging commence. Hey guys, it's Brittany. Oh, I just got home from Walker Stalker Con, Boston. I went today, Saturday, um, which was awesome. Still got my, still got my wristband. Still a little bloody. Um, still got a little makeup residue on my face. I thought I would do a vlog about this whole thing. Um, and yeah, so I figured I'd just come home and do it now. It was awesome. This was my first con ever. Um, so this was really fun. It was awesome. I cosplayed as Carl. I worked really hard on that cosplay for like the last five months or so. Gathering all of my artifacts, I literally ordered the blue plaid shirt that I got from China on Amazon because it was the closest blue plaid shirt I could find to the one he uh, had on in season six. So yeah, uh, you know, making the the guts cloak and everything that was super fun. Anything that's creative, I just love to do and I will just go full force with the creativity and just try to make it the best I can. So the other day while I was getting ready for the con, I had my mom do uh, some photo shoot action of me uh, in my Carl cosplay without the eye and the guts cloak, uh, just because I wanted to get some pictures of me looking normal. And I really like how one in particular came out. I put it on my blog and my Instagram and all that. I really love how it came out. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, so yeah, they have like all these cool vendors that are just like chilling and selling stuff. You know, some of the stuff can be pricey. So what did we get? Uh, everything that cost a uh, dollar. Um, so, <laughs> so because of that, I was able to get um, this cute little power couple Rashon keychain hello i love that picture from uh season six that episode after they raided the um compound anyway we got i got again more intense uh Rashon-ness, uh this awesome coaster of them just looking super cool yes um and then these drawings there was a guy that was uh, selling these drawings that he does and he's crazy good. I really liked this drawing of Glenn. So I got these, these were all a dollar. So again, not breaking the bank. Um, <laughs> this one of Carl and this one of Rick uh, bringing Carl to the farm. So I really liked these. So basically if you've never been uh, to Walker Stalker before like me, uh, I was really confused about how everything was gonna work. So basically it was at the Weston Waterfront Hotel in Boston. So it was actually in the hotel. I, I was under the impression it would be in the convention center, but it was in the hotel. Uh, so there's just like a bunch of different like ballrooms and stuff. And that's where everything's set up. Like all the actors, their booths are all in the different rooms and you have like a little map that you can follow and walk around. So yeah, I basically got to see everyone, um, but they're really persnickety about, you know, taking pictures or whatever. So I was, I got some footage of uh, some of the celebrities at their booths. So I got to see pretty much everyone, you know, got a glimpse of Steven Yoon. Um, which was crazy. He was like the biggest star we had um, at Boston. Uh, so the line for him was absolutely insane. But yeah, like I mentioned how things can be a little pricey. Uh, that definitely applies to meeting the celebrities. So didn't really get to meet you know, everyone like so many people do um, that get like VIP or something like that. Um, but it was still really cool to just walk around and be able to just see the actors just chill in there. It's like, oh, hey, there they are <laughs> sort of thing. Um, but one person that I really did want to meet and actually did uh, shell out uh, 20 or $40 or something to meet them uh, was Noah, uh, Tyler James Williams. And my reasoning is because uh, he's kind of part of my whole Walking Dead fan origin story because I've never shared that on here. I like became a Walking Dead fan, like a hardcore Walking Dead fan, very late in the game. Like I'm talking like season five. My mom has watched the show from like day one and I would like pop in and out as like 
the years went by. It's actually funny because a lot of the time I would actually come out at 10 o'clock to watch Talking Dead. Even though I had no idea what they were talking about, I found it so fascinating. And I would just sit there and watch Talking Dead and just, just be so fascinated by it and so entertained. Yeah, but then so then Noah's character came on. And of course, I recognized him from Everybody Hates Chris. So he was like a familiar face. And I was like, oh, you know what? Then I like this character. I like Noah. So that's when I started kind of popping in every Sunday, kind of watching a little bit here and there at season five. I didn't know much of what was going on, but I was trying my best to follow. Um, but then one night uh, I was in my room like doing homework or something. And then I came out into the living room and my mom was like, you know, Noah died. He just died. And it was like a really terrible death. And I was like, what? I liked him. But at this point, we didn't have a DVR. So I had to wait until someone uploaded the scene to YouTube. So then I like YouTube the scene and I watched that freaking death scene like 20 times because it was just so scarring. Like I was like, oh my God, like it, it just hit me. That death scene hit me. And it was that moment where I was like, you know what? I want to be a part of this because everyone was like freaking out over his death because it was like so gruesome and it was just so awful and everyone like I start that's when I started watching reaction videos actually because I was like it started coming up in the related it was like like reaction Noah death compilation and I was like what so then I clicked that and then I that's when I figured out that reaction videos are something that people do so I was like oh my gosh this is so entertaining um so yeah, so that's what I really was like, you know what, I want to do that. Like, I want to be a part of this whole like world. I want to watch this show and feel that feeling when someone dies. Like, you know what I mean? Oh God, that sounds terrible. But you know what I mean? Like, I really want to just be a part of something and just get all invested and just be devastated when someone dies or happy when something happy happens. And I don't know. Uh, so that was really why I wanted to meet him, kind of for like sentimental reasons. And I did. So and I got a picture with him and I got to tell him that whole story. And he seemed to really appreciate it um, that I'm a Walking Dead fan now and started binge watching from season one because I saw him get eaten by <laughs> zombies. Uh, but yeah, so that was pretty cool. I was really happy that that got to happen. Yeah, so I was like really proud of my cosplay. Um, and it was just really cool because a lot of people were coming up and like asking for pictures with me. And I was like, okay. And then like a lady, I guess that works with uh, Walker Stalker approached me and she was like, have you like met David Morrissey yet? And I said, no, because as I said, I didn't really have the budget to meet anyone. So she was like, you know what? Like, we kind of want to take like a picture of you with him because Carl has no eye now and he obviously had no eye. So we want to like get the two eyeless uh, characters together for a picture. And I was like, okay so she kind of just she brought me up to his booth and uh let me take a picture with him and then they proceeded to post it on their twitter and their facebook page which is awesome like what i wasn't expecting that at all so that was super cool i'm so glad that that happened and that they thought my costume looked that good uh, that it was worthy of you know taking a picture like that um yeah, that made me so happy. And of course, there were a lot of other people dressed up and it was super cool. There was a guy uh, dressed as Nick from Fear the Walking Dead. And Nick's my favorite character on that show, so I had to get a picture with him. Um, I saw a girl dressed as Beth, which it's so funny. Like people that cosplay as Beth, like they always look just like her. There was, I think there might've been two. And it was just like, I felt like I was just seeing Beth like everywhere. It was just crazy. <laughs> what else? Um, Oh yes, the cosplay contest. Um, I really wanted to do the cosplay contest. It was on Saturday and not Sunday. So I was like, we gotta go Saturday. I wanna participate. So I went to the room where they were holding it and you know, we all lined up and got onto the stage and we could say anything we wanted into the microphone to support our case of why the audience should scream for us <laughs> if we get uh, selected. So yeah, I actually have footage of me getting up there. <laughs> so I'll cut to that now. Um, not cool. Uh -huh. Hi. Um, yeah, so I'm Carl, um, I'm also biracial, so I was like, okay, so I guess I'm Carl if you were a female character and the product of work in the show. <laughs> 
so I, I think the audience liked it. They all really screamed for that. Uh, so that was cool. Um, but then I was sadly not selected as one of the top three, which was kind of sad. But at the same time, no, because there were a lot of really, really good people uh, that showed up. Uh, one of the guys that placed went as Ezekiel um, and literally had like five to seven guys with him that went as the kingdom so they were like all decked out in like the total gear and everything and he had this young kid with him dressed up as a tiger to be shiva and it was just like above and beyond so i was like okay obviously me and my little soaked cloak and eye is not going to compare to that but okay <laughs> uh yeah so they placed and Oh gosh, I can't. And then the, the third place went to this little boy dressed as Negan. He was like a mini little Negan. <laughs> so that was cute. But yeah, so, you know, it was really fun. I'm glad I did it. You know, I uh, always wanted to go to one of these and I've always seen people cosplay and stuff, especially in Boston because it's where I live. And of course, this is where Anime Boston is, which every year you just see legions of people dressed up and I'm just like, that seems so much fun. Like people do this and it's just a thing and I want to be part of the thing. So I finally was and I feel like it was successful. I'm happy. I'm happy with how it all turned out. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that might be everything. Oh yeah, one random point, uh, Dwight, the actor's name is escaping me. I am so sorry, but he was just came walking into the room and I was like, I think that's Dwight. And I was just like, hi, and he was like, Oh, hey, just kept walking. It's just like weird when you see the people walking around. It's like, oh, and my mom is the worst person to meet people with or like see people with because she kept calling people the wrong name. Like she saw uh, Josh McDermott, Eugene, she saw him standing there and she was like, oh, it's Dwight. And I was like, what are you talking about? Not good, not good. Or as Negan would say, not cool not cool mom but yeah i think that's everything so if there's any footage that i haven't shown in this video yet i will show it now so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it stay tuned for more walking dead stuff i'm not really sure what's coming next on this channel um my last video to the trailer reaction in this vlog were the last two things i had planned so if you have any suggestions once again for anything you want to hear me talk about or i don't know i really don't know um, then feel free to, uh, leave that in the comments and I'll see you guys in whatever the next video is. <laughs> Peace. Check it out. There's Lorenzo Henry. Gonna try walking around. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Woo. We have to get some news. That one? Mm -hmm. <gasps> <Ooh. laughs> Here we are in the bathroom. Had to touch up the makeup. Getting ready for the cosplay contest. <laughs> Do the model. Uh, me and you. We good. Everything's his, or will be.